Good afternoon. This is December 5th at westcoatbellpottery.ca in Canada. This is my December Christmas video of the inventory that we have for the holiday season. So um, I'm going to walk around. If you see a piece that you like, just email me with the timestamp of what time you saw it in the video and I will actually mail it to you. So it is a little bit of a quick look around, but I can always send you a more detailed photograph of the piece if you're not sure which, whether you want it or not. You just email me that. There you go. These are all the stencil and hand painted pieces that I do. And this is the stoneware, cone six. It's hard to see them, but I have a whole bunch of sinks on the floor down there as well. So as you can see, I, I am sort of skipping by things quite quickly. We just had a nor'easter go by, dumped a whole bunch of rain on us. It actually dumped a lot of snow inland and in northern Nova Scotia and New Brunswick. I think in New England they were getting two to three feet. We'll go over here. I will not show the artwork on the walls because you probably can see that in a, another video I did earlier. There's a couple of Christmas mugs there. My wife painted those. Those are $69. I know those. Some beer glasses at the back with a honey jar and a couple of butter dishes. Canister. Those are my glaze test bowls there. I did a video with not these ones, but the latest version still are in the pottery. It's getting dark, so you can actually see these pieces a little better this time. Let's stand back a little bit. You can't really see the one in the front there. There's a set of seal canisters down there. Some planters on the floor there too. Oh, brr, it's going to be like that soon. A couple of coffee mugs with animal head lids to keep the coffee warm. So I can give you a better view of that one. There you go. Things change because we sell pieces every day, so some of these pieces were not here in the last video and others were. Those are nice little mugs at the back there. And there's that red that was in that gas firing I did recently. I sold every other piece. Those are all the ones that are left. So I probably will plan on another reduction firing as soon as I can get enough work together to do it if it doesn't get too cold. We make note cards as well of the imaged pieces. Martini glasses. Some small planters there. I think you saw all those berry balls.
There you go. The chatty crows. I feed crows on the back of the deck of the studio, so we have immortalized them on some of the pottery. Here's my tea center. So I'll hold up a second. It's really hard to show individual ones close up, but as I said, if you see one, I could actually send you a close up picture of it. There you go, a little tea set in the turquoise glaze. That glaze is the one that comes out bright red in the gas kiln. Take a quick run upstairs. Just to show you one piece of my wife's there. But all the up two dimensional artwork is actually on a different video. She did change things around actually yesterday. So here's a new piece. And another new piece, I think. This one has been here for a while. This one may be a new piece too. They're collages and paintings, basically. Okay, I'll start here. Lots of balls. So coffee mugs and balls behind. I probably won't have to work next year because I've got so much inventory left because of COVID. Uh, there literally has not been a tourist season this year. So we are down about 40% over the previous year. We were amazingly supported fairly well by we have a good local community who collect our artwork buying local has actually worked this year i guess now we have a lockdown in nova scotia just in the halifax area which is the pretty much the capital of nova scotia um, because there is about 140 cases in the capital region, but we don't have anything out in the surrounding area. So we're very lucky still. We can go shopping and know that there probably isn't anything in the stores or the restaurants. These are the hand-painted pieces my wife does. They're pretty much $69 for those coffee mugs. Those are a couple of lamps there. The shine and the sheen on the pieces sometimes means you can't see them that well anyway. Garlic keeper there with a couple of sugar jars. Some wine glasses, lotion pumps. Those are a couple of wax resist pieces of my wife's.
some French onion soup bakers. Three bean pots, make your own baked beans. That piece nearly sold last week, but the person's taking a different one. There's parts of that dinner set I took out of the kiln. They, the guy who ordered them took the rest. These you've seen before, they were in the last video. That zebra giraffe piece is a very old piece. I used to do those when we lived near the zoo in, uh, the, in the state of New York. The Catskill Game Park, which they closed. And those are bird baths. They're new, I think. Maybe they were in the last video, though. I'm gonna display those outdoors next year. Beer tankards, and we're almost done. I sold a lot of dinner sets with this pattern on this year. More sinks. I guess my wife didn't have room to hang that one on the wall. Okay, so there you go. That was the 15 minute gallery tour. Obviously I skipped by a lot of things, but if you are in the area, you're welcome to stop by. You are open most of the time. Wednesdays and Thursdays are by chance, but we're open most of the time. There you go. Well, thank you very much for spending 15 minutes with me and um, I'll be posting some more videos later in the week of processes and in the studio. Thank you. Bye-bye.